Hello, this is Say Business Systems. My name is Lisa, and today we're going to do a cash receipt entry in Sage 100, formerly Mass 90. We're going to open up our Sage desktop. We're going to expand the accounts receivable module menu. We're going to expand the main menu, and we're going to select cash receipts entry. We're going to click our pound sign to create our next deposit number. You can enter a description here, but it is not necessary. You're going to select your bank code, your deposit date, and we're going to enter the amount of our deposit. And click Accept. Two ways to enter a cash receipt. If you know the invoice number, you can go right here and you can put it in, which is what I'm going to do here. And it automatically brings it up. We're going to put in check number. You'll notice it's 61305. I go to lines. Everything's there. I can accept. Another way to do it is to select it by the customer number. You can enter your customer number, or you can click on the magnifying glass and pull it up. So we're going to click on the magnifying glass, and we're going to select our customer. We're going to put in our check number. And we're going to enter the amount. You're going to click Lines. This little icon right here, Select Invoices, will show you only the open invoices. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to select this invoice right here, 145. I'm going to apply $145 to it. And I'm going to show you how to apply a prepayment. So I'm going to go back to my icon, and I'm going to select this prepayment of $100. When I select that, it automatically applies it to this $145 and leaves me with the balance of $45, which is what I requested. I'm going to click Accept. I'm going to click the printer icon down here in the right-hand corner. That's a shortcut to the cash receipts entry register. I'm going to print full comments. I'm going to select my printer, and I'm going to click Print. Until I say yes to update the cash receipt journal, I can go back and make any changes. So when the prompt comes up and says, do you want to update, I can say yes or no. If I say no, I can go back into the cash receipt, make a modification, and then reprint. If I want to update it, I go ahead and say yes, and then yes to your daily transaction register. Now if we go back into customer inquiry, the first customer was zero ADS. And I can go to transactions or I can go to invoices, either one. This is the one that we put in for the 10033. I can highlight it. And you will see the amount paid to it. I can select my new customer. I can go to invoices. You can see my prepayment, let's move this over, has a zero balance on it because I merged it with my 145. So let's look at this. We'll scroll down. You'll see the payment of 145. And that concludes entering a cash receipt entry.